Okay, so we're going to be looking at Bitunix's copy trading. And yes, these are the numbers that we're looking at. 132% in 30 days and almost $80,000 plus dollars across 30 days. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, well, what is this all about? How can you access this kind of returns? And what does it mean for you to get started today? All right, we're going to look into all of this. So stay tuned right till the end of the video. Now, this is what we call copy trading. Okay, what, what's copy trading? Copy trading is basically you become a uh, you, you become a follower to a trader who trades regularly and you can basically copy what they're trading and we can put some metrics around that to safeguard yourself. Now, all, a lot of you have come to my channel because of the copy trading content that I produce around Bitunix, uh, around not Bitunix, around BitGet. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have been extremely profitable around that, so congratulations. Uh, but now is actually uh, the best time than ever before to actually start copy trading. If you haven't done so, if you're trading in other platforms, then come to Bitunix as well for that purpose because we've got some interesting traders to follow and I've got a lot to say around the exchange and the actual practice of copy trading today. Why is now the best time to actually trade? Well, that's because Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen, is at its all-time highs. Now, comment down below if you think Bitcoin is gonna hit 100K or not. I think it, it did get very, very close, but it didn't quite hit it. There's obviously a massive psychological barrier there from a technical standpoint, but it's a very, very interesting time to be alive uh, when it comes to the crypto world. We're inching towards $2 trillion market cap, Apple stock is sitting at, what's the market cap? At $3.51 trillion. So still very, very early days on a Bitcoin. And a Bitcoin, I believe, can be as big as Apple, if not bigger one day. So yeah, I think I think there's still a lot of growth to be had with um, with Bitcoin at the moment. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to trade on Bitunix, okay? How to trade, copy trading, how to copy trade on Bitunix. Uh, and the best way to do that is come to the website and whack on copy trading like so. All right, now, before you can get started, you're gonna need an account. I've hooked you guys up. So if you look below the video that you're watching right now, there will be a partner's link available for you. Um, that's something that I'm able to hook you guys up with so that you guys can get some bonuses on your way in so that it can actually give you some capital and you can, you can give you some, you know, some bonuses along the way. And this is something that you won't have access to if it wasn't for this link. So this is my way of hooking you guys up. Bitunix, well, let's talk about the exchange itself. I mean, it's, uh, its volume is nice and high um, and, it's, and it's ranked at, uh, you know, the top dozen sort of derivative exchanges in the world right now. It used to be when I, when I started talking about this exchange probably mid to late last year, um, and you know, it was a bit of a, it was, it was a little, but now it's more of an underdog and it's, it's an exchange that's just offering so many, so many, um, wonderful features. And it's, it's, it's actually a very, very seamless platform. And, and I've, I've been very, very impressed with the UI UX experience and the actual execution of the trades. So that's why I'm giving myself the opportunity to talk about copy trading. And it's a new feature, um, from Bitunix. So I'm very, very excited to talk about, uh, Bitunix's, um, copy trading feature today. So. Coming to the website, <coughs> bitunix.com, make sure you go, uh, make sure you are logged in and then go to uh, copy trading. Obviously you need your money in your wallet, of course. And then we're just gonna get started, okay? When it comes to copy trading, of course, who we copy is incredibly important. Obviously you don't wanna be copying a crackhead who doesn't know what he is doing. So it is important that we actually understand the metrics across the board. Now, this, for a new platform is very well done, okay? Of course, there are ways that, you know, every platform can improve in terms of the reporting and the, um, and the numerics and the data, but I can cut right through that to identify which traders are good and which traders are bad, which traders are naughty and which traders are nice. Christmas reference. All right, so we're gonna be looking at these fancy numbers right now. So lead traders are ranking in um, on the seven day figures. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've got the cough these days. Um, and we're gonna be looking at each trader and I'm gonna be very, very critical on how they approach trading, okay? So let's start with the first one, okay? Just because, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm happy to make recommendations on what I think um, would be worth my money to put in, okay? And, and it's up to you guys to decide which traders will be good. And of course, there will be emerging traders depending on when you're watching this video and there will be um, traders that will be dying out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be checking out Crypto mania. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look at that. It says so I'm already I'm already copying this person. But anyway, all right. The graph looks interesting. It went up a little bit and then went down into the red. Oh, we don't like red in cryptocurrency. But you know, this 
I don't really look at that, okay? In the last 30 days, that's what it looked like. Look, if I go, if I want to make a prettier looking graph, boom, seven days, and it looks all good, fancy, and nice, and lovely, right? 30 to 90 days ago, well, Bitunix's is, um, copy trading actually didn't exist before then. So this, this graph actually does make sense, okay? So what I want to do is I want to look at, for example, very basic stuff, okay? Well, this is their performance. What does it even mean? Well, I'm just going to skip through that for now, okay? Skip through that for now. We're gonna look at assets under management, okay? He's obviously looking after about $101,000 worth of people's money. Um, there are a, how many how many people are following this um, this this guy? Followers, here we go. 139 over, 500 available slots. So this is another good thing about Bitunix is that there are actually slots that you can jump into. You know, there, you know, you go to other exchanges and it's like, you know, they, they offer copy trading, but it's too full. Like the good traders are fully doxxed and everybody knows who they are. And it's, it's just hard to get a seat in there. Okay, so there's 394 total followers in the past, of course, and um, and so what we're going to look at is, oh, by the way, the lead traders they actually get 10%. So if you want to become a lead trader, you can actually trade and then get 10% of your followers' earnings as well. If you're a good trader, that is, of course. But if you're a good trader, I'm willing to give that 10% of the winnings anyway. What I do is I scroll right down, <coughs> and then I go to position history. That's what I'm looking at. All right, well. What the position history tells me is whether this guy is a real trader or not. Like, yeah, I mean, like it's hard to be a bot trader as well, but I mean, that's also easy, but I want to know if he's a real one. He's a real one. You know, he's good at trading. That's what I want to know. Okay. So you got to understand we've been recently having an uptrend in the market. Okay. So I want to see more longs than shorts in here. Okay. I, I like that his leverage isn't as high. Okay. To be honest, I think it safeguards you as a micro investor. Okay, he might be winning, you know, eight thousand dollar positions at a time, uh, and that's another indication of the fact that this guy is a professional trader, like bigger trading, um, bigger trading, I guess, positions, P and Ls. That's what we want to see. We see the entry and the exit prices. It's really interesting what a plethora of different, I guess, coins this guy trades. It <clears throat> that signs to me that this guy is a very technical trader. He wants to drill down into what the best shapes look like when it comes to making an entry so obviously he's finding that in different kind of uh, different assets to be able to find those entry points to then execute the trades all right what's really interesting to me that is that even though he has made some short trades okay in a in a long sort of trend market in an upward trending market he was able to be profitable that seems to me He's kind of smart. This guy's. This guy knows what he's doing. We are seeing losses, and you go, oh, hang on, hang on. What, what, do, what do you think about <coughs> these losses here? <coughs> well, the thing is, losses add up to about thousand, more one point two k. And when it, when they lose, when he does lose money, he's like breaking even at nine bucks. You know, um, that's a that's a break even compared to the wins he's making. But you know, he's got eight thousand two hundred, seven hundred, so about nine thousand. So obviously, the wins far outweigh the longs. And when he's winning, he's not just like spazzing out of it. He's actually like staying in there to actually to follow the long tails of the wins and, and so on. So the strategy is lining up. This page here is looking pretty good as well. So his position history looks really good. And this is dating back. I mean, these, these two columns literally date back, how many days? What's the date today? 27th. So we're looking at the 25th across three days. He's, he's putting in around one, two, was it about 2000 trades? Not an excessive trader either. Okay, had some bad losing streaks, but but has some amazing winning streaks. Thirteen thousand dollar profit in one trade. Wouldn't you love to live his life? Well, guess what? You can. That's what the beauty of copy trading is. Okay, so all this information, about, especially this graph, to me, it's a bit nonsensical. I, I don't know what this graph is. Okay, to be honest, maybe because I'm too stupid, but in reality, position history doesn't actually lie at all. Okay, um, we're gonna be looking at transactions. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yep. Okay. Transfer history. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yeah. So he's taking money out, right? That's that's good. That that means he's making money. All of his followers are killing it. This guy followed him for one day and made two hundred and fifty bucks. How about it? Right. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Okay. Everyone's doing pretty well. Okay. In the land of copy trades. Okay. So there's no reason why you shouldn't or you wouldn't want to give this a go. You don't have to follow a lot with a lot of money at all, okay? So the way we do it, I'm gonna show you how to actually copy trade in a minute, but we're just gonna assess, okay, which traders are good to follow. All right, now we're gonna look at some bad traders, let's say, okay? I'm not saying they are bad, but just something that makes me raise an eyebrow, okay? So let's have a look at this one. Big numbers, I like, 200%, 
All right. Three thousand dollar PL across nine ninety days. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Now, these are the open positions right now. Not looking good. He's gone long, but recently the, the market has tumbled a bit. But I think he could hold these positions for a bit longer, and it's going to be okay anyway. And you don't always become incredibly, you know, there's going to be some drawdowns in your accounts anyway. But let's have a look at this. Diff again, a, a variety of different coins. Okay, I mean that's that's every trade is a bit different here. But look, um, he's making twenty hundred and thirty six dollars, but he's losing hundred thirty eight hundred two fifty eight hundred yeah, nine nine hundred. I mean. You know, he's tried going long recently, okay? And then he's had some good winning streaks as well. But the losses outweigh the wins a little bit. No, that's not true. Um, yeah, it's just been recently. So he's been going long hard, right? He's been on the long trend. He's been riding that roller coaster. He's been happy. But then all of a sudden, the market, market sort of tanked on him. Um, it, it's not really a tank. It, that, that little 4% downward, you know, this, this basically this thing here. Th from here to this thing here. That's what really screwed him over. Okay, so we got to look at, we got to look at, okay, well, what, what has he done to actually make it better? Okay, but look, he's, he's still on the long trades and, and, you know, that's, that's what he's doing. He's obviously a trend trader um, and you, he's, I don't think he's done any shorts in the last whatever. So I think he's, he's very good at identifying the trends and because he's following the trend, it's actually not going to be such a bad strategy to, uh, for him to continually be profit. And because he's been so profitable in the past, these recent losses can actually be, I guess, um, I guess be forgiven, right? And it can actually cover those losses as well. So again, probably not the most sort of professional trader, but he gets the idea is my assessment. Okay. I mean, if you are the trader yourself, I'm sorry if I offended you, but I really hope that, um, that, you know, you can grow as a trader and, and everyone can grow as a trader, you know, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. And plus you've done amazingly well anyway. So that's awesome. Let's have a look at this guy. I want to look at some bad examples. Ooh, bad looking graph, $611 and 6% return. But position history, let's have a look at this. Okay, so $64 lost, $14 lost. And when he's winning, he's winning $1 at a time, $20, $100 lost, $52 lost. Look, and you're winning $5 at a time. I mean, I understand your risk is low and you want to play with smaller money. I understand. Yeah, I mean, you guys can already see these numbers, right? You, you can already see these numbers. So obviously this is not the trading account that he eats and lives out of, okay? I'm sure he wants followers though, because you know if he does remain profitable, he's able to make that 10% off, off the gains, right? Which is fine, which is fine. You know, anyone can try to do what they wanna do. And there are, there are a lot of accounts that do this and actually do incredibly well. Lead traders that do this, and they, they consistently do really, really well. And there are lead traders who purposefully, because of psychological reason, work with smaller accounts and try and return consistent as well. So uh, by no means, I'm not criticizing this particular crowd, but I'll let you make your own decisions, right? And this is literally what we do. We go shopping, guys, okay? This guy obviously likes to uh, specialize in um, Bitcoin. He's got a, uh, he's got a, wow, he identified a short. That's really amazing. All right, he's got a profit ROI of two thousand dollars. So he's identified a short at ninety four k down to ninety one k. That's very good. That means he was able to get in here to here. He rode that wave there. He saw that maybe saw a resistance on the downward trend, and he went shorted. That's really impressive that he he caught that. Let's have a look at his position strategy, position history. Okay, five sixty loss. I mean that's okay. I mean that's kind of breaking even slightly positive here. <laughs> just quickly doing the math. No, nah, that didn't look good. Big losses here and here. Right. At the end of the day, you would you want to know if you had followed this guy, would you have been happy following this guy? That's the whole idea. Okay, cool. Now, that being the case, let's actually learn how to copy people. All right. So what I'm going to do is I've obviously I've already copied this guy here. Okay. So I'm going to show you, you know what? Mm, I'm going to go uh, go to my copies here. Right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, uh, this, uh, that's obviously opened another little position already. I just followed him just now, but I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna end the, tra uh, so I'm just gonna confirm and I'm just gonna lose a bit of money for you guys. And then I'm basically out of there. Cool. What I'm gonna do is go back to that guy because I was kind of happy with this guy. So I'm gonna press copy. Now I always go for the multiplier, okay? So say my account is, I don't know, $560, right? Then let's say I'm gonna use about $100 worth of my money to risk with this particular 
account holder, then I'll be replicating what, what he's doing. Stop loss, okay? Up to you. I personally put nothing in there. I just want to replicate their wins and their losses and their strategies as much as possible. So if they're closing out, I'm closing out. I'm not closing out before them or anything like that, okay? That's basically what I'm going to do. If you go stop loss too, too short, then obviously the drawdowns and what their strategy, you're just completely disrespecting that. Any advance, you can go margin mode, same as trader. So that's just getting, you know, what, what, what are you going to cross or isolate it? Leverage, same as trader. You can fix your leverage as well. But for me, if I like a trader, I'm just going to basically do whatever he does or she does. That's what I'm going to do. Risk management, okay? You know, when a single trade pair re uh, reaches a certain margin, no longer follow the order to increase the positions or anything like that. So um, on a multiplier basis, I don't think that would be much of an issue. Slippage range, obviously, when you follow, there's going to be some switch slippage range as well, which is a risk borne by you, but it's going to be pretty laser fast anyway. You agree to the, the user agreements, and then you basically go press copy for the 100, and basically you're done. Okay, you're done. Cool. So let's go over copy trading. Okay, copy trading assets, my copies, and I'm Cryptomania, following Cryptomania right now. So when he opens a trade, I'll be opening a trade. When he's closing a trade, I'll be closing a trade. Guys, you've got to actually try this. Okay, I know we're in the crypto market. You guys may have heard it before. You know, you've been in the crypto market a long time ago, or you're just coming to the crypto market now. Guys, we're all in it for a bit of a buck. Okay. And, and we want to learn and we want to do things. But when they open a close trade, you can actually learn a lot of information as well. Today's been a very long video, but this is really, really important. Give it a go, okay? Go to the link in the description below, click on the register link, get yourself signed up. You're going to get hooked up with some awesome, um, awesome, what is it? Um, uh, bonuses, okay? Up to five and a half thousand dollars worth of bonuses. It's worth it. This is the way to do it. Give it a go. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe. See you next time.